the main problem is we're, we're set up for surgery today, um, but we're not going to be able to remove all of the tumour. You never can. There's always going to be some cells left behind. And we know that the tumours recur within the margin of where you operate. So what we really want to do is to be able to put some chemotherapy on the inside to, to treat those cells. But we know that if we do that, we often cause problems with wound healing and infection. What we have done is to uh, chemically modify a chemotherapeutic drug called timosolamide that is used today in the clinic for the treatment of brain tumors into a completely safe uh, compound, chemical, that can travel into the brain and be activated by a new method that we have developed. So these are the palladium beads that we're going to put in the, the tumour cavity. So these are implanted at the end of the operations, thousands of them, much smaller than the ones you see here. And these are going to act to remove the mask that we've put on the timozolamide. The inactive drug will be taken as a pill, uh, like any other medicine that you take every day, and will do completely nothing to your body till it reaches the brain, where it will find these palladium beads, which have the job of converting chemically this inactive drug into the active, very potent chemotherapeutic drug that will kill the remains of the tumour. What's groundbreaking about this strategy is that rather than putting the active drug directly in the tumour cavity at the end of the surgery, we're able to control when and how the drug gets activated. So this is much safer for patients and it also means that we can give multiple drugs multiple times. What is really exciting about this technology is if we demonstrate that this works in brain cancer patients, it can work in many other cancers, so the possibilities are endless. I know that if a patient can get a whole cycle of chemotherapy, that they do much better than patients who don't manage because of side effects. But with our strategy, we hope we can deliver more chemotherapy for longer to more patients, so the overall survival for brain tumors will improve.